building my body and building a business so I'm starting off my day doing both listening to podcasts and working out I'm done with that so I'm about to get to the work hi I'm Shayna of the Wealth Vibe and I create videos to help you eliminate debt grow your income and build wealth and I am starting a business that is launching on April 6th in just a few mere weeks I don't even know how many weeks it is but it's less than two months so chop chop I gotta get the work and for today I have a few things on my to-do list typically what I do is I go through my to-do list the night before and you know prioritize things or reprioritize things that I want to get done for that day. Today I have a few things that I need to get done, but all of them are not related to the business that I'm starting. So related to that business, I have two main priorities. I need to get back to my logo designer, and then secondly, I need to get down the website copy. The other things on my to-do list are a salary negotiation call that I have for a job that I'm interviewing for. Then I also have to edit a YouTube video about the expenses related to my YouTube channel, and then I need to do taxes. So I need to really get down a good grasp of my business expenses for the year, and I need to track down W-2s for a few sources of income that I received because I changed addresses and I don't think I updated everyone about my address. Last night, I wrote down all of my... Um, sources of income that I should be receiving tax documents from. So there are seven. I know I've gotten or at least have access to one, two, three, four, five of the seven. I need to track down the two universities that I've taught for um, and get my W-2s from them. But once I get that done, I also need to go through all of my business expenses from 2019. And I did not do a great job at that. I did have WAVE. Um, which is a platform for tracking your business expenses, but for some reason it didn't always sync with my bank account And I think it has something to do with Capital One 360 because whenever I use Services that require your bank account to sync for some reason it doesn't always sync well with Capital One 360 But first I need to make some tea important it is to have a persona for your business because my graphic designer for my logo he just asked me about more information about my brand and it was so easy to just flip the pages in my notebook and you know pull up my persona and communicate that to him in a simple few sentences and I think that will help him know who I am looking to serve when he creates the logo. And I think that helps to clarify your, your business objectives a whole lot when you have a persona. It has helped a lot so far. So I was just checking in with my to-do list and about to move on to the next thing and look at the time and realized that I was supposed to post a, an Instagram post today. Shana Green. I'm an adjunct and I get um I guess all my payroll stuff through Propel. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, how are you? <laughs> and so I um I am trying to get my W2 because I actually changed addresses and I don't think I updated it with you guys. And I went on to the Propel website and I don't see how I can download it there. Okay, so I was able to track down one of my W-2s, but the other one, it seems like I can't download it from their system. So I'm gonna have to wait until um, HR at the university um, fig figures out what I need to do. So now it's time to figure out these business taxes. 
I'm going to use this to um, categorize everything um, for my expenses. My uncle is my accountant. He is an accountant and business professor. Okay, so I'm about to pull up all of my bank statements because you need to be proactive with your taxes. I'm a little behind, but these scammers be on it, okay? And so it's in the middle of February, so I'm late, but I'm going to get on it. But really, I tend to owe taxes. Hopefully, I don't owe anything this year, but probably that's why I've never been scammed, so yeah. Okay, so I downloaded all of my bank statements, but then I took a few different calls and now I'm about to sit down, comb through these bank statements, and watch Real Housewives of Atlanta because balance, people. And then I'll be done with that. But before I do that, I'm going to cook a little dinner for me and my boyfriend. I'm going to make him some chicken thighs and some um, some rice. I just Googled a recipe. One skillet roasted sesame chicken thighs. So that's what I'm going to make for him. And I'm going to have a salad for myself. A great salad. Do we have lunch tomorrow? Okay. I hope so. progress on my to-do list for today um i'm not going to get around to editing a video but right now i'm currently working on the copy for my website i've used a few different websites for inspiration and i'm going to start like fine-tuning like my personal message that i want to convey on the website and also the services and offerings that i want to provide so i'm about to sit down and do that and I'll watch a little bit of youtube until I get too tired and go to bed. It is now almost 2 a.m. and I'm not done with all my work, but it's fine. I'll just pick up tomorrow, but I wanted to show you what I did. So I told you that I wanted to work on the website copy, but I'm such a visual person that I, I downloaded this program called Sketch, learned how to use it tonight, <laughs> and created a sketch of my um, homepage just so that I can have an idea of like the words that I want to put and then the placement of things. And also this will be helpful for the graphic designer. So it's 2 a.m. but I decided to learn new software. <laughs> So this is like a rough outline. These are not the pictures I'm going to use, but this is just like a very rough outline of what I created. I still need to fine tune the copy for the website, but I think I have a good idea of what I want in terms of pages and content. And then I have like a first draft of some copy that I just need to edit and fine tune. So I will do that another day. I need to go to sleep because I have a busy day tomorrow as well. When you wake up to seeing JLo on the gram looking better than you have ever looked 
and she's 50 years old, 20 years older than you, you get up and go to the gym. to get started with the things I need to do. First thing I'm gonna do is take a shower and then go to the grocery store. But I also need to edit the YouTube video that I didn't edit yesterday and finish up website copy. But the priority will be the YouTube video for sure. So headed back to the apartment to get fresh. Okay, so I'm clean and fresh out the shower. But now I need to figure out what to wear. This is our closet. <laughs> Okay, so I'm all ready and I'm about to go to the grocery store, but before I do that, I need to get a list together of things that we need. So I have a list in my phone um, for groceries under the Reminders app, so I'm going to go ahead and add those in, um, the things that we need. <laughs> Walmart to do grocery shopping and maybe even go to Publix depending on what the stuff is looking like. shopping I take my receipts and I scan them in the Ibotta app <sighs> it says it can't scan my receipts and that's what I get for crumpling it up so I got three offers so I got a dollar fifty cash back from Walmart <laughs> shopping at Publix, Sam's, and Walmart. So I got a lot of groceries. I cleaned out the refrigerator and now I'm about to pack everything that I purchased. But while I'm doing that, I am watching a live lesson with um, Erin On Demand from the eBrand Club. Um, she did one last night and I missed it about how to vlog and she's going really in depth. And luckily I'm doing a lot of things that she's talking about.
Okay, so I finally finished cleaning up in the kitchen. Now I'm about to get to work. Although it's now like 1.30 in the afternoon and I haven't done anything related to my businesses. But I have to edit a YouTube video that needs to go up today by um, 6.15 p.m. That's my upload time. And so hopefully I will spend the next two hours since I have cut down my editing time a lot. The next two hours editing this video and then I'm going to get to working on things for the new business. And I have to say, although a lot of the day has already passed, I think it's been a productive morning because I did a lot of learning today. Listen to podcasts, YouTube videos, and all types of things that, that have really um, enriched my entire business development for today. I finished editing and uploaded the video and it is live. So now I'm about to cook some dinner and It's been a few hours since we ate dinner and I have been on the computer studying. I have an important interview coming up in a few days. So I've been studying, but I got everything done on my to-do list today. So I'll catch you in the morning. I am struggling. And it's already 9.30, 5. And I'm just now getting out of bed for real, for real. Um... I need to go to the gym because I have a lot of things to do and I actually have a call at 11 and then another one right after that call and then have a lot of other things to do. So I need to get it together, Shayna. <laughs> headed in to wash my face and hop on this call that starts in like less than I don't know five minutes or something. <laughs> Shayna Green. I am um, interviewing for hey, a. Shana. Hi. I'm inter right? Yes, yes, yes. I just finished the first call for the day, and now I'm about to get on the call with the web designer about my website. This is our first call since I paid for his services for the website. Some things that I wanna get clarity on on this call from the website designer is, when do I have to get things to him? Like the content, the copy and pictures, when do I have to provide that? And I also wanna share with him my thoughts on how I envision the homepage being. So those are my main goals for the call. So we'll see, um, the call starts in four minutes. I do want to be able to launch by April 6th. So, um, based off of that, when do you think I would need to have it to you so that you can start to, um, cause I can, I can work on it this week, um, and probably get it I to you. I would say first week of March would be ideal. Like if we would ideally want to have all of the copies submitted by the first week of March. Okay. Okay. So I just got off the call with the web designer and he said that as long as I get him all the copy 
for the home page and necessary pictures for the home page as well he can start to work on the first draft of the design and then he can let me know like oh we need text here we need pictures here we need pictures there to fill it out and so I'm going to be working on that this week. We have another meeting that I'm going to schedule with him to follow up for next Friday so that we can um, stay on the ball with this website. I actually made a few more phone calls, but now it's time for me to take a shower and get ready for the day because I need to get on camera. I have a lot of things that I have to do today on camera and I'm really excited. I'm going to share with you really soon about something that I'm about to do with them. Super excited about So. Let me hop in the shower and wash my hair and get ready. Okay, hours later, I'm finally dressed and I am about to get on the computer and check out the designs that the graphic designer sent me for my logo. I did take a sneak peek at them already. Not really feeling them, but I need to write him back and let him know my feedback so that he can improve. I have faith in him still. So I'm about to look at the designs. I've only looked at them on my phone. I haven't looked at them on the computer. So maybe I'll have a different opinion when I look at it here. But he sends over three. Eh. Not feeling this one. The reason why I got dressed up and put on all this makeup was because I need to take some thumbnail photos and I also need to record a few videos. And so I'm about to head into my studio and start taking these thumbnail photos because I am terrible about having a thumbnail photo that is curated specifically for that video. So I'm trying to do that now. taking all my photos for my YouTube thumbnails and so we're Back headed back. out to Bible study with this guy so you don't love me back I do love you babe so the people are more important to me but before we go to wow. Bible study we're going to Man. um wow it's just my shipping label we are going to check out the property wow scramble it up more as you grab it anyway wow um, we're about to go check out his property. So dark in here, but I'll see you at the property. Paint goes on like the wall, and then you, then you might probably can tell even even more. But um, yeah. yeah, we'll be looking at it. Looks great. You are not going to grow in Christ by listening to Pastor Mike or Michael Kay or myself or whatever on Sunday morning for an hour and a half. You will not do it. As you know, he's talking to Sometimes he just pops up. And that kind of like gets me back focused on, on, on him. Mm -hmm. So in the process of doing that, it's like I think what that is doing is, is developing in, in me the mind of Christ. Made it back from Bible study and I have 15 minutes to scarf something down really quick because I actually haven't eaten all day. And I have to get on this live with Aaron On Demand. <clears throat> so I'm just waiting for Aaron to get on right now. Starts in five minutes. Hey, everyone. 
everybody. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to have you guys here. So this is another E-Boss Talk and I am featuring Shayna and she is with The Wealth Vibe on YouTube. She has a YouTube channel mm -hmm. um, and she's also one of my E-Bosses. She's been in the E-Brand Club for a while. Wait, how long have you been in the club? I think since September. Um, yeah, it's yeah. been a minute. I just finished my live with Aaron from Aaron On Demand. And if you are watching this because you came over to my channel from being on um, the live, I really appreciate you for coming over. But right now I'm about to film a video. I was asked to participate in a um, HBCU personal finance thing. So I need to record a video for that right now. Hi, my name is Holly Reed Tootle. I'm Shane of the Wealth Vibe. Hi, my name is Stephanie Davis. My name is Taryn Bushra. My name is Philip Dancy. I attended Hampton University. Proud alumni of Morgan State University. I attended North Carolina a t State University. I went to the the illustrious Hampton University. I'm a graduate of Winston-Salem State University. I attended Dillard University in New Orleans, Louisiana. I am the proud graduate of Hampton University in Hampton, Virginia. I graduated from Howard University. I, I just finished recording that HBCU feature and now I'm going to upload the clips and send them over to Michael so that she can put it in her video with the other personal finance HBCU folks. So I'm gonna do that right now. So now I'm done. I'm about to go lay in bed and cuddle with my boo and also study for this interview that I have because it's going to be intense. I'm going to tell you more about it later, but it's going to be intense. So I'm going to do that and I'll catch you in the morning. Good morning. So I just got back in. I went to go check the mail for some packages, but it seems like they're in the mailbox and I don't have the mailbox key. So I am about to get started with my day. I went to the gym earlier today and today really is going to just be focused on me editing videos because I will be flying to three different places next week and I need to make sure that my content for this channel goes up on schedule so I need to make sure that I'm on top of that in addition to um, I need to go and check out some things on my Etsy shop I have I sell shirts and also um, budget planners and you know digital and paper planners and stuff like that on my Etsy shop and yesterday my boyfriend posted a picture in one of my shirts on his Instagram and I've been getting a lot of requests for that shirt and I do have it on the Etsy shop in a women's version but not in the men's <laughs> so i need to go ahead and add the men's version it's really quick and simple to do so i'm about to do that first and then get to editing I'm putting this shirt into my shop. I do want to um, change like the cover image, but I'm gonna do that later. I have a subscription with smartmockups.com and that allows me to get like these, you know, like real life looking images. So like you see here, like this girl here, she's wearing a shirt. Like these are not models that I paid. So I'm gonna do that later. And right now I'm just gonna get in the couch and get a little comfy and edit videos. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to check in on the video that Aaron and I did last night and respond to some comments and show everyone some love for showing me love on live last night. So I'm going to do that first. also be getting a lot of um, messages from people as well that are in public health and they're really interested in the new business that I'm starting. So I've been um, talking to a few people this morning, but 
since I got out of the shower, I haven't responded to them. So I need to go back and respond to everyone's messages. editing one video and I have several others to edit but the one I edited is finally up on the channel so if you haven't checked out the 10 ways to save on taxes please do but now that I've done all that editing I am hungry and I think I'm gonna make salmon for dinner today with a salad because you know I'm trying to lose this weight honey okay <laughs> <laughs> 